Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can, um, you know, enable and set up a mouse steering for Beam and G. Um, anyways, I'm just on the home screen over here, and this is probably where you're going to want to navigate to. Although you can also do this from inside the game itself, um, when you're playing in free roam or campaigns, anything like that. Anyways, you want to navigate to options over here, um, and then on the left side, you're going to want to go ahead over to controls. Um, and as you can see, there's going to be a bunch of uh, bindings over here. And the one you're going to, want to, go, to want to go for is vehicle over here. It should probably be at the very top. Um, you can click on this arrow and it'll collapse or expand actually down. Um, and you'll see all the different controls for your vehicle. Obviously not all of these are going to be set up right now. Um, but we're actually going to set one up. Um, as you can see, pretty close to the top over here, we've got your steering, so that's going to be your left button, which is going to steer left, which in this case is A, which is just um, how it's set up right out of the shop, new. Um, all these settings are default, by the way. Um, and then your right button, which is going to be D. And to steer with the mouse, um, so mouse steering is just like you have your mouse and you move it from side to side to steer and that way you won't have to use A and D to steer left and right. Um, personally what I then do is I use A for shifting up and D for shifting down. That way I can play pretty easily with a manual gear shift um, whilst still only playing on a keyboard and with a mouse. Anyways, um, enough ranting, I guess. Over here, below that, you'll see steering axis slash mouse. Yeah, what you're going to want to do is click on create a new binding. Um, and then you're just going to want to move your mouse around. Um, and then it's going to be created. Um, so as you can see, you can move your mouse to the left and to the right. And then it's going to go up and down on the graph, as you can see. Um, there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, of course, there are a bunch of ways in which you can edit it. Um, yeah. So, um, here we have a few things you can edit. So, you can have the inverted axis, which is that if you move your mouse left, you can move right, you're going to move right. And if you move your mouse right, you're going to move left. Um, you can play with that on if you want. I don't really recommend it because it's very confusing. Anyways, then you have your linearity, which is basically now if I move my mouse 50% to the side, um, I'm going to steer 50% to that side. However, you can change your linearity so that um, you have a pretty large dead zone at the bottom so that you're free to move your mouse around basically at the bottom without steering. And then the more you move your mouse to the side, the, the sharper you start steering. As you can see, you can see that in this graph over here. Um, and you can tweak that a lot. So now um, you move your mouse a little bit and you steer a lot. And if you, the more you move to the outside, the less um, more you're steering. Um, Anyways, I'd like to keep that on one, but that's all up to personal preference. Um, then we have the dead zones. So we have the dead zone in rest and the dead zone in the end. Um, so the dead zone is basically an area in which you're going to be able to have your mouse without actually steering. So as you can see, I can increase this dead zone um, for the rest to 0.2. And that way I can have my mouse in the middle over here. And it's not going to steer. Um, it's just going to keep on going straight. So you can move that down a little bit, probably to 0 0.05 if you want it. What this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to not completely have your mouse straight, but then to still be able to drive straight. Um, if you have it on zero, then even if you move your mouse a little bit, you're going to steer slightly to the side. So you can have like a really, really small dead zone just to try and help yourself a little bit with being able to go straight. If you want to have that, then you have the same thing, but for the end, um, as you can see, you can have a dead zone for the end, so you steer more. And um, something this could be useful for is if you don't want to move your mouse that much, um, you can make this dead zone really large. 
um, I can put it on 0 0.5 um, and that way I'll only have to move my mouse half of the amount of space I had to use it before um, and some of you might like that it also makes it a little harder to steer more accurately but it does require less mouse movement so once again it's all up to personal preference anyways I like to set it up like this um, so I have a little bit less mouse movement, um, and of course you can still move your mouse all the way to the side, but then you're just going to be steering maximum anyways. Um, this is how I like to have it, um, so linearity just at 1, because that works best for me. Um, the dead zone in the middle, I don't really feel like I need that, um, it can confuse me sometimes. Um, and the dead zone on the, on the end, I like to have that at 0 0.2 so that I don't accidentally move my mouse off the screen a little bit and lose it. And also so that I just had to move my mouse a slight bit less. Anyways, um, that's that for the mouse steering. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Um, anything else as well, if you have a request for a tutorial, make sure to leave it down in the comments below as well. For right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.